Hi everyone and welcome to the energy update for April 2024. Um, as you all know, I really like actually being outside in nature when I do these connections because it's really lovely to share Mother Nature with you. But I've been rained off. I've been outside and got absolutely sopping, uh, including the microphone and all the kids. So I'm taking that as a really good sign to just come in and chat with you from here in my new home office studio that we are um, populating at the moment because we've just moved to Devon. So um, I'm really enjoying the landscapes of the ancient forests, the hills, uh, <laughs> and of course the sea. So lots more to share with you of that over the coming months. But, you know, I've sat with April, Gaia, with the heavenly uh, energies since just before the 1st of April. And here we are, I have to remind myself what day it is, it's the 4th of April, uh, when I'm sitting down to share this with you. So that gives you an idea. April is an extraordinary month. It's just so busy with regards to influences and opportunities that are being presented to humanity but you know through it all through all the layers and all the levels that I've sat with to share with you there's just one thing one thing that keeps percolating to the top and it's all about your heart so this month of April is about the healing heart so yes, you've got the total solar eclipse on a super moon. Yes, those things are big portals there. What we mean by that basically at its most basic level is that you get the chance of almost experiencing time stopping. So you've got, very, you've got loads of things that are demanding your attention and demanding um, our life force at the moment and many people are being stretched all over the place and so to get these times these moments where it almost feels like time itself has stopped are very huge opportunities to really sink in to yourself and into your heart and into who you are and your soul purpose and all the yummy stuff, basically, all the yummy stuff. So there's an old saying that I was brought up with, which is called when the veil is thinnest. And that expression just basically means it's easier for you as an intuitive human to pick up loads of information of things that you're interested in or things that you're open to or guidance that you absolutely need. So the 8th of April, even if you're not in a part of the country or the world where you can see this, the effects will be quite magnificent. So that's one of the things. Obviously, full moons is a complicated one coming up this month. There's all sorts of things that will populate in April. And I decided it was far too complex and, and too much to share in one video. So I'm going to keep it really simple. <laughs> And just talk to you about the healing heart and also I've pulled a couple of cards that I thought would, I would share with you as well for some guidance but you know throughout it all this shift that we're in these massive changes are all about bringing a better life together it's about uh, sinking into possibilities of greatness of allowing the dreams that you've had that feel almost real but aren't quite real for you to enable yourself to put that belief structure into the strength of your heart the courage of your heart bring out the wisdom of the heart and create that bridge and then walk upon it so it's definitely a month where 
uh, all the things that you know to keep your heart healthy would be a really, really good idea. So just sitting and being, contemplating, meditating, doing gentle stretches, um, allowing your body to move. The heart really likes movement and it likes stillness. So the heart is, is the organ of the body that is really superbly balanced. You know, if you, if you look at the organs of the body, just to give a few examples, right? If you get anything to do with your waterworks and the kidneys, the kidneys are known to be the organs of fear. So that means you are in a some sort of imbalance with regards to fear. Uh, the lungs are known as grief. So if you've got any lung issues, it's to do with having grief as an imbalance. It's not saying you're grieving too much when you've just had a massive loss or you've never grieved because you've never cried or this, that and the other. It, it's none of those extremes. It's about what the regular daily thing is that perhaps we're missing the actual uh, point. Perhaps we're missing the message of the body and it's now time to listen to what that is. So if you keep getting perpetual challenges in the lungs, just have a little look, honestly, you know, right in the mirror there, just to find out what it is. What, what is it you're grieving over that it hasn't completed its cycle, its circle? Um, maybe you want to look at that with kindness and some big dollops of compassion for yourself. So fear is around the kidneys. Liver is another one that's imbalance of anger. So have you not got angry enough about something that's really been patrolling your mind for eons and that you need to do something about? Have you, have you been too angry at every little thing? Where is the imbalance? Where is the balance? This month, the heart wants harmony okay big time it wants harmony it just wants a bloody month off please it wants a few days off it wants some chill out time some time out to actually just bring into harmony all that the rhythm of life the blood of life the the life force within the heavens and earth and throughout your body is the conduit of both it's looking for balance. So it's looking for a balance where, well, this is going to happen anyway, so it's nice to actually be uh, <laughs> aware of it. So the balance of the heart is all about love, love, and more love. And it's about what comes out of you, directed to your external world, and what comes into you as you receive things from the external world. And it's all mushed up together and it's trying to create some harmony, some balance. So <clears throat> if in doubt at all, with any reaction to anybody, to anything, to any news, to any anything at all, is to go to your higher heart and respond to yourself, with your own thoughts to yourself first, from the highest place you can manage in that moment. I'm fully realizing that on some days with some various things that happen in our lives, you know, that's not the, the highest place in the world. But on other days, we know we can epically get up in those mountains of peace, of harmony, of love, of compassion, of kindness, and of laughter more easily than others and it's a bit you know the heart is <laughs> steadfast and strong for you so it will assist you in this so reach for those loving moments as much as you possibly can towards yourself and towards everything external so to create harmony is stepping away from when you judge yourself or another it's when you, um, that's, sorry, that's really funny, I've just pulled the eagle card, seize opportunities courageously, it says. <laughs> um, yeah, how about seizing that opportunity of the heart to be non-judgmental for the rest of this month? Just that, just don't judge. Don't judge yourself with regards to reactions, to thoughts, to not being good enough, to... Um, 
anything and looking at others and their efforts in life unless we walk in someone else's shoes unless we're actually within them we have no idea of their burdens or their viewpoint of or their their stories we just don't know so who are we to actually judge does anyone else out there know you can anyone else make those decisions for you no they can't because you're you and that's it's totally to be celebrated. You're uniquely you, so you get to say what's right for you. So the heart needs a couple of things. It needs a bit of time. The heart needs some time out. It needs some time where you can put yourself into an environment that asks nothing of you, okay? So sometimes during this month of April, Give yourself some silence, some time out in nature it is for me, or just away from all the distractions that are around in life and other people, and just sit and be. With something powerful in nature, you know, the more distracted you've been, the more uh, loud your thoughts are, you're going to need louder noises in nature to calm you and to... Uh, butt in as it were so you can listen to your heart so for me being by the sea is great we're, we're at the moment by a load of real big rocks and pebbles so you know when the sea's actually coming in over that it's quite loud so it's easy easier then to actually empty your mind more and just focus on that one sound and it gives yourself a rest from all the other demands that life has for you at this moment in time. It might be a river. It might be uh, birds singing at the moment. They're really, really loud. Or donkeys braying in the morning, which we have at the moment, <laughs> which I think is great with Struis. Who swapped out a cockerel for donkeys braying in the morning? which totally, totally lights me up and brings a smile to my face, so it sets my day up beautifully. I just think, yeah, I just think that's great. It's really good. Um, so the heart just needs some gentle, quiet. It's, the word is simple. What the heart is asking for this month is some simple times, some simple moments of connection. So anything that you can actually make a date with yourself. If your diary is really busy, <laughs> make some time dates with yourself. Put them in the diary. Keep those appointments with your own heart. Sleep is another thing, okay? So for some people this month, they're gonna get a lot of disruption of sleep. They're gonna be all over the place with their sleep cycle. Some are waking up really early in the morning and then they get frustrated and they can't get back to sleep. There's the, there are some, time is changing and our clocks are changing. This is more than just the, the hours clock going back and forward. Um, the polarities of the poles are shifting. You know, time itself is having a bit of a, mm, what shall we do next? So therefore your own body clock is changing. So again, use those moments if you wake up in the night, instead of getting, choosing the frustration route, maybe you could choose to just have some kindness for yourself. If you're, if you're in the healing arts, perhaps you can give yourself some self-healing. Uh, perhaps you can do some meditation. Perhaps you can just list in your mind and feel the emotions of gratitude for everything that's amazing in your life. That the, the fact that you've just woken up, that's amazing. <laughs> you know, if you can walk, that's amazing. If you can, you know, drink, that's amazing. If you can, da, 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 da. There are many things that are possible to be absolutely grateful for. Even if it's two or three or four in the morning, you could choose to have that gentle stillness, sacred time with you, for you, and with your own heart. So it's a tender time now. It's a tender time. There's so much loud stuff going on in, in the world this month that the heart needs the balance and what it needs is tender it needs quiet time it needs just some soothing and some silence 
So that's all about the inner landscape. And then externally, it's looking for you to notice where the heart-based um, proof is in this world. So if you're scrolling through your phone, focus on the stories that are heart-based, that are really marvellous to see, that are give you faith back in humanity's actions, that sort of thing. You're looking to actually build your story this month about positive heart stories, positive fun things. Not fun at another's expense, but fun just because it's funny and it's wonderful and it's amazing and isn't life full of those opportunities. So again, it's one of those things where you might be very gracious about noticing how much love you can extend to the sea, to the rivers, to the trees, to the flowers, to the birds, to the animal kingdom, and to some other humans indeed. And how much you can receive internally from a tree just being a tree. <laughs> you know, it's a good art to practice being grateful and enjoying the company of something in this world, like the ocean, is just being the ocean. And no attempts of being anything else. We can learn an awful lot from that. And the heart wants that. The heart really wants to focus this month on the beauty of life, on the amazing power of life, on the ability to love, and entraining ourselves to the magnificence of life's opportunities. These new beginnings that are cracking everything open at the moment, it's not just like a new beginning because it's a new moon. It's not a new beginning because it's a new day. This is a new eon. It's a, it's a new, it's a, <laughs> it's a different world. So therefore, our differences are awakening. We're waking up to a different us. We're waking up for different aspects of, of life in general. And um, therefore, we really, 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 really need to find out what the personal ingredients are needed for our optimum health, and our optimum joy in these times. And for April, it's definitely your heart. Okay, my love, so I look forward to the comments. Please fill them in underneath and we can have a natter about anything that you uh, resonated with this or anything that you want answers for. I can have a look on an individual basis about what might be needed for you there. So, you know, do pop them up and we can have a natter. So a couple of the cards that came out earlier was from the Archangel Animal Diana Cooper cards. And the first one that came out was the bat. And it says, see through illusions into truth. So see through illusions into truth. Nice big moon there. See through illusions. Now, some of these illusions are actually things that we've believed to be true forever. I don't know, some, somebody somewhere told us something. We took it as the truth and we've run with it. I mean, you know, we've had no, no other reason not to. But we're in that stage of the heart where the heart is courageous enough to really look at the wisdom of knowledge, it's, it's transforming knowledge into wisdom at the moment. So that's what the higher heart does. And so therefore, you're looking for the wisdom. So therefore, some of the things, some of the foundational truths we've believed in forever are actually, eh, they might not hold that same grain of truth as we move forward. They might have been fantastic for what we've been in before with, with uh, old paradigm stuff, but not necessarily for you right now. So it's a good one to check in on. And then the other one, it's got a unicorn in the background, lots of spirals and waves, was the rabbit. And it says, recognize your significance. This is a big one. 
recognize your significance. Do watch that when you're listening to your own mind about what's going on internally. If you're belittling yourself, if you're finding yourself wanting, you're following probably someone else's narrative from years ago. Someone else's narrative from years ago. You know, everything about your higher heart knows how significant you are today and that you chose as a soul to be here at this time to help with this transformation and to help. Now, if you weren't significant in the big scheme of things, you wouldn't be here, would you? So there's a reason. And we don't have to know all of those reasons, but, you know, how about actually just for this month, try it on. You are significant, you are needed, you do know what you're doing. Let's have a play at this thing called life. So <laughs> what I've just pulled out now is the cat and it says be relaxed and independent. You know, one of the best ways to actually get through to your higher heart is fun, is joy, is laughter, is just to let it all drop away and go with ease. Let it all drop away and go with ease. Trust in you. Trust in you. All right, my loves, I look forward to your comments. Um, oh yeah, I've got to remember to ask you, please, to subscribe if you like these. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you again soon. I've got loads of things to share with you. I want to do, want to share a little bit on uh, healing the heart uh, very soon. And I've also got a meditation I really want to share with you called the Golden Goblet that really comes in answer to many people talking to me about wanting to help themselves, but also uh, their communities or the world and feeling a bit helpless and how can they do that? And the Golden Goblet is one great way of doing so many things. And we've had some fabulous feedback from that. So that's coming down the line shortly too. All right, my loves, lots of love. See you again soon. Bye for now. Mm-hmm.